happy springtime in Virginia, folks, where we wash it and it's immediately yellow. Forgive the yellow pollen coming off the top of this trailer. It is springtime in Virginia. We are grateful for a beautiful day. This is a brand new 2021 Adam 2 Plus 2. This is a Trailer Country Special. The 2 Plus 2 Adam easily fits two horses and a golf cart, two horses and a carriage, two horses and probably more than one ATV, or four horses in a nose-to-nose -nose fashion. This trailer is extra special with lots of shiny accents. Um, we went big on this one. We've got a beautiful charcoal skin, polished aluminum, excuse me, stainless steel nose, stainless steel polished nose, polished aluminum on the sides here instead of the standard aluminum. You can see the difference there, that white one over there is just a standard white, or standard extrude, oh my goodness, I can't talk. A standard milled extruded aluminum. This one has the polished extruded sides and a polished top rail. It's really sharp, really beautiful. So again, this is the two plus two Adam. We also went ahead and put some aluminum wheels on this trailer. If it was gonna be shiny, we went all the way. We upgrade to a five foot dressing room in this model when we keep it standard here on the lot. Four saddle racks, since we do have that option of four horses here, they are removable. You can slide them up and down on the post. Bridle hooks, there's a walk, walk through door into that horse area, so if that's your box stall, you can use that as a tack up space as well. Huge nose in the Adam trailer, lots of space to pack things and move around in there. We do insulate the entire ceiling of this particular model when we're stocking it for inventory. We've got a carpeted nose and deck sheet. We do put a rubber mat on the floor of this five foot dressing room. Light switch here in the tack room. We go into our horse area, which is set up to carry four horses in a nose to nose fashion. It's not your typical four horse head to head. It does not have a center aisle. Your front horses are actually gonna load off of this nice wide 60 inch wide side ramp. I'll show you that in a second. Again, we've got that insulated ceiling throughout the trailer, nose to tail. We've got four pop-up roof vents in this trailer. Two are hidden back there, two here. Tons of ventilation, three of these nice big sliding hip windows. We've got three drop windows, one there, one there and one on the escape door here. An extra sliding window at this horse's head. Sorry, it's a little like the Blair Witch Project. I'm moving a little quickly here. But these are our rear facing horses that go in the front stalls here. If you do not wish to carry horses up here, you can make it into a standard box stall. Oh, there's our fans. We do have four fans in this trailer as well. So you can have two box stalls in this trailer or four horses nose to nose. The horses are separated by this gate here. Um, so they would have to work super hard to touch. I'm not gonna tell you that they can't. Horses can do anything, but they would have to work really hard to be able to touch here with this gate and all of this headroom. We've got three feet of headroom here. We actually have closer to four feet of headroom in our rear facing stalls, just because of the way we set this trailer up with the positioning of the escape door and the swing gates. Um, we wanna out, allow a lot of room there. This trailer is seven feet wide and eight feet tall. And it's a 26 foot floor length here. It is an aluminum floor with rubber mats. Again, tons of windows, places to tie your horses, removable swinging bar head dividers. So you get lots of airflow between those. We've got four fans in the horse area and then that nice insulated roof to help keep it cool. That eight foot ceiling also makes it a little cooler in here because obviously heat's gonna rise. So let me show you this front stall here. Okay, here we are on the curb side of this beautiful trailer. This is where we're gonna load our front horses and where we will also offload them and we can offload our rear horses through this side ramp if you want in a traditional two plus one style. This divider is telescoping. So we just unpin it from the wall here, slide it in. And it swings almost completely out of that ramp. 
So it is almost completely out of the way. We have almost that full 60 inches of side ramp there to load our horses in. So our first horse is going to be the one on the far side here. And you can leave that breast bar down if you need a little more room. Lead it up just a smidge and back it into its space. Put your breast bar up. We also have a bar here on the escape door. Nice gravity latches so you don't lose the pin in there. And then a little stopper so if your horse is pushing against this breast bar, they can't push it out of your hands. All right, so we've loaded our first horse over here on the street side via the curbside ramp. Extend our divider and latch that into place. I'm not left-handed, forgive me. Okay, so we've got our divider now latched into place. So horse number one is safe and secure over there. That is the only horse that we cannot get off of this trailer without getting someone else off. So in a four horse head to head, you can access all four. You can pull off all four at any second. Here you can still access all four. You just can't necessarily pull off any of the four at any time. We do have to take off this curbside horse or a rear horse in order to get off horse number one. So we've got our side ramp here. And again, we're just gonna load up horse number two. So he's gonna come right through this side ramp. Again, if we need a little bit more space, we can take this breast bar down, leaning forward just a smidge and backing back up. We've got this bar that travels conveniently out of the way. I do suggest that you loosen that up before you put this horse in because it can be a little bit cumbersome. I'm gonna take that down, put the phone down one second, take that down. Okay, only took a second, but I did need both hands. So once you've got this horse in here, obviously I could be on the outside use both hands evenly um, and then we've got this nice bar here to keep this horse inside of this side ramp area if you're using it as a box stall you also have that since this ramp is so wide we do put two top doors here they can be tied back for traveling and we've got our front horses loaded rear horses are going to load just like normal right at the rear ramp you can unload three of them at any time. If you're working off the trailer for the day at a local show, I'm not gonna tell you it's the most convenient thing to have this particular trailer where somebody has to get off the horse number one to get off. If you're going from point A, absolutely. Point A to point B, four horses, no problem. These horses are gonna be primarily on and off. Horse number one just needs to be the one that does not have to get on and off the screen. Hope that makes sense. Um, we've got our stud doors on both sides. You haven't seen me close that one, but I think you understand the process there. Again, we've got these nice gravity latches here so you don't lose these pins. They just slide up and down, not a pin to get lost. You've got a bumper here on the back on your butt bar. You've got one on the front so that the horses can't push those bars out while you are trying to get them latched in. Rear ramp with top curtains. Of course, you can see we have all LED lights back here. LED load light on the side and rear ramp, LED running lights, LED interior lights, fans. We've got switches for all those things on the back of the trailer. There's our load light switch. And then over here, we're gonna have a switch for our fans and a switch for our interior lights. There is a load light over that side ramp, of course. So again, this is a 2021 brand new Adam 2 plus 2. It has all the things, all the bells and whistles, seven wide, eight tall, 26 foot floor. It has a larger dressing room at five feet. Four feet is going to be standard. We've got beautiful aluminum wheels on this trailer, including the spare. Charcoal skin, polished um, rail, polished extruded aluminum there really sharp really beautiful under the nose we have a bigfoot hydraulic jack that is powered by the battery here in this pollen covered battery box deep cycle marine battery there we've got our spare these are westlake nitrogen filled tires so these tires on this particular trailer have a one year no questions asked warranty two years of roadside assistance that is on the West Lakes. I don't guarantee a West Lake um, on these trailers, but this particular one does have them. We also have a 
gravity fed water tank here mounted under the nose. You can fill here or fill here with a reverse system. Load that thing up and fill up your buckets when you get to your destination. We also have the option of adding a worm flooring here at Trailer Country LLC if you're interested in that. We do pour that floor here. Trailer comes standard with the aluminum floor with rubber mats. Trailer's located at Trailer Country LLC in Carrollton, Virginia. You can see all the specs at TrailerCountryLLC.com. We are Virginia dealer number 39905. Give us a call. We'd love to talk trailers with you.